if we could get to the bottom of those Bonneville flood sediments, mm -hmm. we might see Missoula flood. Now, you, Missoula you, were, flood you were testing your hypothesis, basically. Pardon me? You, you were testing your hypothesis. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Which is the right thing to do in science. When we look at all of the damage in the channel scablons, we find that the mainstream explanation doesn't connect it at all to the Younger Dryas impact. It right. seems to suggest that it happened before that. What do you think about the timing of these events? What's, well, my, my thinking is still evolving. One of the things I've looked at is, you know, John Shaw referred to CREs, catastrophic rise events, which yeah. were sudden pulses of sea level rise. Mm -hmm. You know, that 400 foot rise in sea level from the late glacial maximum yeah. to the early Holocene was not a smooth curve. No. It was punctuated by several extreme discharge events from the melting glaciers into the global oceans. Yeah. The first one now, the earliest one, Meltwater Pulse 1A yeah. is dated at 14,600. Mm -hmm. The Meltwater Pulse 1B is dated at 11,600, which is the top of the Younger Dryas, mm -hmm. the 1,200, 1,300 yeah. year. When, when Randall says the, the top, this is, this is speaking in a sense in archaeological terms, what's higher up is younger and what's yes. lower down is older. So the top is younger. So the Younger Dryas what, is little less than 12,900, 12, 12,900. Something think, like that. The latest yeah. dating. Yeah. Right? The question is, is, is there evidence of the floods associated with the Younger Dryas? 